or three want to share anything before we get started? If there's anyone attending. <clears throat> uh, if not, we can always wait till the, towards the end if they come in. So uh, we're going to go ahead and get started. Uh, welcome everyone to this virtual community meeting uh, regarding the upcoming missile, uh, mistletoe and Alamo Heights street improvements. Uh, my name is Christian Cardona. Uh, I'm with the transportation and public works department. And I will be presenting on behalf of Greg Robbins, uh, the project manager who is not able to attend today. So. You will get his information towards the end of uh, this presentation. So this presentation is meant to provide you with some information about the project scope improvements and to seek community input during the development of the project. <clears throat> uh, for those who are watching, here's the agenda of what I hope to cover in my brief presentation. Uh, I'll be talking about the project as a whole, providing a summary of improvements on each street associated with this project and discussing the expected schedule moving forward along with my contact information for any questions or comments regarding the project. So first we're gonna go ahead and talk about the project scope of the improvements associated with this project. <clears throat> so as you can see, there's multiple streets in different locations. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, quickly run through these. Uh, first, we have Buck Avenue from West Rosedale Street to Mistletoe Avenue. Uh, second, we have Chambers Avenue from Alamo Avenue to West Vickery Road. Uh, third, we have Gordon Avenue from McPherson Avenue to West Loudon Street. Um, four, we have Limscombe Street from Page Street to West Caps Street. Uh, number five, we have Livingston Avenue from West Loudon to West Bowie Street. <clears throat> Number six, we have Eric Harrison Avenue from Buck Avenue to Mistletoe Drive. Uh, Number seven, we have Lander Street from West Vickery Boulevard to Rutledge Street. Number eight, we have Lander Street from Lock Avenue to Lavelle Avenue. Number nine, we have Lisbon Street from Chambers Avenue to Lander Street. Number 10, we have Mistletoe Boulevard uh, from Buck Avenue to Mistletoe Drive. Number 11, we have Mistletoe Drive from Mistletoe Avenue to Rosedale Street. Uh, number 12, we have Rutledge Street from what from uh, Vickery Boulevard uh, to Lander Street. So those are the streets and their limits within this project. <clears throat> so on the next couple of slides, I'll discuss the existing conditions present on these streets, and I'll give a breakdown of the proposed improvements for that location. <clears throat> So on this slide, you can see pictures of existing conditions of the streets. Um, as you can tell, there's multiple locations of cracking, potholes, and over time, pavement has sunk down in some areas. Um, so the, these photos kind of give you an idea of what the overall condition is uh, for each street as of today. So, So we're going to go ahead and move on to the proposed improvements for each street. Uh, first, we have Buck Avenue uh, from West Rosedale to Mistletoe Avenue. Uh, we'll, be get, we'll be upgrading the, uh, the existing six inch water line to a new eight inch. Uh, for paving improvements, we'll have the new pavement with concrete uh, curbs, new concrete driveways with 11 foot widths uh, or match existing, uh, new five foot sidewalks on both sides of the street. Uh, for the next street, Chambers Avenue uh, from Alamo to West Vickery. Uh, we'll be upgrading the new, uh, with the new eight inch sanitary sewer line on this street. Uh, for paving improvements, we'll have new pavement with concrete curbs, new concrete driveway with 11 foot minimum width or match existing, new five foot sidewalks on both sides of the street. <clears throat> For Gordon Avenue from McPherson to West Loden, uh, we will be upgrading with a new eight inch water line uh, for paving, paving improvements, new pavement with concrete curbs, new concrete driveways with 11 foot minimal width or match existing, um, new five foot sidewalks on both sides of the street. Uh, 
uh, for Limscombe Street from Page to West C C Caps. Sorry, from what from uh, Page to to uh, West Caps. Um, we're going to be upgrading the existing six inch water line to a new eight inch. Uh, for paving improvements, we'll also be having new pavement with concrete curbs, <clears throat> new concrete driveways with 11 foot width uh, minimum uh, or match existing, new five foot sidewalks on both sides of the street. Uh, for Livingston Avenue from West Loudon to West Bowie, uh, we'll be upgrading the existing six inch water line to a uh, new eight inch water line. Uh, for pavement improvements, we'll have new pavement with concrete curbs, new concrete driveways with 11 foot minimum width or match existing, and new five foot sidewalks on both sides of the street. <clears throat> for Harrison Avenue, from Buck to Mistletoe Drive, we'll be upgrading the existing six inch water line to a new eight inch water line. Uh, so this paving improvement is funded by the water department. So this will be a new asphalt pavement. For Landers, uh, West Vickery to Rutledge, uh, this will get a new eight inch water line. Uh, the paving improvements for this is funded by the water department, which will contain a new asphalt pavement. For Lander Street, a lock to Lavelle will be upgrading the existing four inch water line to a new eight inch water line. This will be a uh, asphalt pavement added as it is funded by the water department. <clears throat> For Lisbon Street, Chambers to Landers, uh, upgrading the existing six inch water line to a new eight inch water line. This will be asphalt pavement as this is <clears throat> funded by the water department. For Mistletoe Boulevard from Buck to Mistletoe Drive, we'll be upgrading the six inch water line to a new eight inch water line. This will be <clears throat> consisting of asphalt pavement as this is funded by the water department. For Mistletoe Drive from Mistletoe Avenue to Rosedale, we'll be upgrading the existing six inch water line to a new eight inch water line. Uh, the pavement improvements are funded by water department, so this will be new asphalt pavement. And from Rutledge Street to uh, uh, Vickery to Landers, we'll be upgrading the existing six inch water line to a new eight inch water line. This will be asphalt as this <coughs> asphalt pavement as this is funded by water department. So we're going to go ahead and move on to what would your street look like after it's done. So to get an idea of what the street would look like after construction, we have a picture of concrete street just completed containing <clears throat> obviously new paving, new driveways, uh, new sidewalk and new curbs. <clears throat> As well, we have a picture of an asphalt street after completion containing uh, new concrete, curbs, new sidewalk, and new driveways. Additionally, we have pictures to give everyone a vision of what sidewalk and pedestrian ramp crossing will look like in your area. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, move on to the project schedule and upcoming milestones. <clears throat> so, as you can see, there are many milestones in this project. Um, in particular, you'll have the anticipated construction date to begin in November of 2024 and ending in March of 2026. Uh, I also want to mention um, we'll be also be having a pre construction public meeting to give a detailed information before construction starts and what to expect. Uh, sim it's similar to this meeting, so you'll receive mail cards with the assigned date. Uh, for that pre construction meeting for this project.
So if you'd like to stay updated on this project, please go to the first link, which will take you straight to the project's web page. Uh, you can also go to www.fortworthtexas.gov and enter 104213. <clears throat> this will allow you to be directed to the official web page, which will contain updated information throughout the course of this project. And if you want to know more information about the 2022 bond, you can access this by going to this link below. So that's the end of the slide. I do want to mention, first of all, that um, this will be posted on the web page. Uh, this week, so you will have access to the PowerPoint slide and access to this recording. Um, this will open up to any questions if anybody has any. Let's see, I'm going to go to the dashboard and see if anybody has any questions that they've typed up. Yes, sir. We do have some. Rosalind was first. Would you like me to read or are you able to do that? Uh, can you go ahead and, and, sure. and read it for me? Yes, the first question is, will there be a sidewalk upgrade on Mistletoe Drive? On Mistletoe Drive specifically, um, I believe Mistletoe Drive is funded by the Water Department, so we will not be doing any sidewalk upgrades um, in that street specifically. That will be just pavement improvement, which will contain a new asphalt. Uh, pavement, so we won't be messing with any uh, concrete curbs. Won't be messing with uh, the new sidewalk. So, any any sidewalk there. So, if that answers your question, Rosaline. Was there any other questions um, that were on the chat, Laura? Oh, yes. I'm sorry. I didn't realize that I was on mute. And also, I wanted to say to folks, since I just realized I was on mute, you are welcome to ask your question. You don't have to use the chat. Um, it's just that we had a few come in there. So you're welcome to ask your question. The next one that's on here is from Mike. How long would a typical water and asphalt street segment take? Uh, it just, it all depends the length of the street. Um, uh, can you go specifically on what street you are talking about, Mike? I can give you a, a guess. I mean, it just all depends on the length of the street. And um, usually, <clears throat> usually with the water, the utilities are installed first, um, and then they usually overlay with temporary asphalt. And then the contractor that does the excavation paving comes out and does the street. At, at different times. He just put mistletoe drive in. And just, again, for everybody, you are now able to unmute yourself just so you know, in case you would like to ask a question. But mistletoe drive. Okay. So for mistletoe drive specifically, um, once we get into the uh, the pre-construction meeting, we, we will have a better idea of how long it will take. The contractor will be involved in that meeting, but we'll he'll have a better look at when he will be on that specific street and how long it will take for him to do the replacement as well as um, replace the pavement. So that will... are some of these questions, Christian, best answered by water or is anyone from water on or is this really something for us and our consultant contractor? Um, so I don't believe Brenda is in this meeting. She's the water water department PM. Um, but I can't give you an exact time frame of when it will be done because uh, it all depends on the rate of the contractor, um, and they have a better idea of how long it would take. Yeah, it. Like I said, the, we will be sure, having. Greg, that's what I. Greg. Greg. I'm curious. I don't know. I don't know what Logan is. It's I don't know. It's the rocks. It's me. Oh. It's fine. Good. 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 Good.
Tony, it is Kristen, not Greg. Oh, Kristen. Yes. Tony, are you in this meeting? Okay, thank Greg. you. Greg. Greg. Okay. I mean, uh, Kristen, sorry. Yes, yes, sir. Okay, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm Brenda. Today's her birthday, so I'm filling in for her. So, but I'm on my phone because I'm driving. So, anything come up? If you need me to answer, let me know. Okay. Yeah, uh, they had a question specifically about how long it's going to take to install a water line on Mistletoe Drive. Um, I mentioned to the person that asked this question it, that we would have a better idea in the pre-construction meeting with the contractor. They have a, a better idea of how long it's going to take them. Do you recall how much footage we're talking about of mistletoe? Uh, for mistletoe block, drive, two blocks, three blocks. Uh, it goes down. I would say four, four or five blocks. So that might be about thousand foot thereabouts or more. I can give you that. Information. Huh? I can give that information right now. So about four or five blocks. That may take uh, maybe 30, 40 days, maybe something like that. So for mistletoe drive, also sewer lines were part of that question. Sorry for interrupting. Sewer yeah. lines also is that also in the same time frame or in conjunction with? I think Kristen mentioned the sewer line will go in first. So so for mistletoe drive, we're doing just water line, and we're doing about two thousand linear feet of eight inch water line. Okay, so if you factor maybe two to three hundred foot a day, and they got to put that temporary, so maybe thirty days, thirty five days, something like that. Okay, so we're looking at over a month. Yeah, or give or take two weeks to put out temporary paving. Okay. But like you said, Christian, it'll be all up to the contractor, but that's about a good guideline, about 45 days <clears throat> to do to do 2,000 foot. And that's that's just for the water line, is that correct? Correct, yes. Only okay. the water line only, yes. Yes, sir. And for the, for the, uh, the the permanent paving, the permanent asphalt. Um, this this is quite a bit of stretch of of, uh, of street. Oh, hold up, Kristen. Are we putting out permanent paving or temporary? This, this we're we're going to do temp temporary paving in the meantime. But this this will also be a, a POL, a full um, okay pulverization. So uh, okay, this is about well, think... 0.87 lane miles. Of paving. So I think you are answering it, Christian. It all depends on what the contractor wants to do, or if you if we want to make him go street by street. Because typically, as you know, they like to put down all the water mains at one time and be done, and then do all the streets. So once you get the schedule, like you said, that's going to determine when. Yes. But yes. you put in the water main about month and a half max to get that done and put down temporary, test all the water and put everybody back in service. Yes, sir. That's correct. Okay. And for for the paving, I mean we're we're doing about 0.87 miles, so it 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 all depends on how the contract is rate. Um, this is quite a bit of length of of road, so I anticipated this taking definitely the longest out of all these other streets. But we will have a better idea once the contract we have a contract on board and they can give us a time frame of when they can get this done, more or less. So hopefully that answers your question, Mike. Uh, Kristen, there is a question in the chat asking about why we are not replacing the sewer in Mistletoe because there is no sewer in Mistletoe. Um, I, I think Dana is asking that question. Or, uh, I saw the question, yeah. Um, so Dana, there is no sewer in Mistletoe, only water line under the basement. There is only a small piece of Sewer under mistletoe at the beginning, and after that, there is no sewer in the street. It's in the alley behind the houses. Are we are we talking about mistletoe driver mistletoe boulevard? Is she asking? We only it... do mistletoe drive, and even boulevard. There is no sewer in boulevard. Both of them, yeah. they don't have. Yeah. So. 
Yeah, you're right, Mary. There, there is no sanitary sewer line going underneath the pavement on Mistletoe Drive or Mistletoe Boulevard. It, it's all located on the uh, behind the houses. So I don't know if that's a question for would that be a question for Tony to see if why this wasn't. <clears throat> um, like like Mary said, if the sewer is back in the alley. It's going to stay in the alley, and if we're not replacing it, that means it's it's in pretty decent shape, or it's PVC. Yes. So, in case you didn't, in case you didn't hear that, Dana, uh, if, if they they do an assessment on these on these streets to see if it if they need to replace the water or sewer line, um, if it's in good condition, they they just go ahead and leave it in there. In this case. Um, they, they left it and didn't replace and did not, it's not in the scope to be replaced because of the condition. If that answers your questions, Dana. Um, do you, Laura, do you have any other questions on the, the chat? I'm not able to find it. On my computer, what time do I, have? I have my screen shared. Yeah, I get out at forty-five. Okay, so if there's no other questions on the chat, does anyone that has there is a couple of questions? Um, there is a couple of questions. One of them is saying if the street will be closed during the whole time. No, the street won't be closed. Uh, um, they only going to close the lane. They were going to work on. They're not going to close the street. And I think yes. there is another question about how long to do the driveways. Um, each driveway will be around at least a week. So, um, a day to to tear it up, another day to form it, and then. Three to seven days, depending on the concrete, to for you to be able to drive over it again. Beginning <clears throat> um, of this meeting, but so will you? Um, someone asking about the trash pickup. We will. The contractor will be coordinating with um, two. Uh, waste management about trash pickup, and if we need to move it from one side to another. But yes. This is not you're not going to be affected by that. There is another question. Mm. I don't see another question we did not answer. Did we? Okay, I think someone asking about landscaping trees, sprinkler system. We are not putting any new landscaping tree lens if, or sprinkler system. If we damage anything, we will be repairing it and return it to previous condition. So anything damaged, we'll be putting it back as previous. No new improvement. So no new trees or no new landscaping. Uh, if you have grass, you will get uh, that same type of grass back. Um, and you are able to unmute yourself if you'd prefer to jump in there with your question. Yes, feel free um, to unmute yourself and ask any questions about this project. Uh, yes, this is Dana. I would like to ask a question. Yeah, go ahead, Dana. Okay, so you actually showed the, the photo that you showed as the example of the concrete street having been done in the past. I lived on that street during uh, the time that was done. It was not a pleasant experience. Um, so that's why I have so very many questions. We were not in our driveways or down our street for months, 30 days at a time in, in several instances. That street right there, that was the street I lived on at the time. Um, so, since you are not doing curbs and you're not addressing the sidewalks um, on this instance, 
on Mistletoe Drive is where I live now. Then, yes. um, so our parkway trees, those all died eventually. So those will not have as much damage with this project. Yeah, this is going to be asphalt. So the, the experience you had with the other project will be completely different than this. This will be yes. way faster and you are, we are not going to replace every single driveway. Only the damaged okay. one, uh, damaged curb. So that's, that's why I okay, said so it, seven days it only, said, yes. It's said on here that the driveways would be either 11 feet wide or existing. So on that, on Frederick Street, that picture right there, we did not have an option as to what we wanted. Who has the option in this case? This mistletoe is not a bond project. The one we were you were we showing the picture mm -hmm. was a mm -hmm. bond project. So bond project is a hundred percent replacement. Everything is replaced a hundred percent. That <coughs> mistletoe is a water department um, project. So okay. the main purpose and you mentioned that the sewer. You mentioned the sewer was in the in the alley, but we do not have alleys in my particular area. There is no alleyway. I mean, uh, Miss, so Miss it's Mistletoe Drive would be behind the, okay. it's not in an alley, it's behind the, the houses. There's no- So it's an easement alley. you're saying? Yes, yes, yes. ma'am. Okay, okay. Okay, that makes more sense then than in an alley. Okay, um, okay. Can't say I'm looking forward to this, but I'm glad, well, I'm not glad. Okay, at least it'll be a different experience. Thank you for Ma'am, if I may, if I may, Kristen. Yes, yes, sir. If I may explain, uh, ma'am, the reason yes. why one department is participating is we need to replace, we're trying to replace cast iron mains on the street. Right. So water funds are spent on cast iron water main replacement so that you don't have busted pipes. After CPW, after just anywhere close by. So that's our main objective for water department is to replace cast iron. So hence, well, we we're were told by the CPW. city when I was yes, lived on in the other neighborhood. We were told yes, by the city that the sewer lines deteriorated at the same rate as the water lines, and that's why we were getting both replaced at that time. Well, believe it or not, we still got some uh, birch, uh, clay pipes from back yes, in the Yes, that was on my previous street. Pieces. Right, that was so on, I'm saying we still got some of those clay. Sorry, sorry? That Frederick Street was that way, clay pipe. Yeah, what I was saying was, believe it or not, we still got some clay pipes that are in pretty decent shape, even better than some of our recently installed PVC. So you never know, it all ties to solid pipes use a bunch of other stuff. But in most cases, we want, this is an exercise to replace cast iron. And if it so happens, there's a sewer main that was installed back in the 20s. Uh, some of them are even 1910s. We go ahead and replace those as well. So that's why we're partnering with TPW to try and capture some of these things while they're in the vicinity. That's all. Okay, well, these, these homes are a little older than the other homes, so their pipes should be older. Okay. <clears throat> okay, thanks, Dana. Do you have anything else for us? Okay, uh, does anybody else have any other questions? Feel free to unmute yourself so we can have a discussion in case if anybody does. Does anybody else have any other questions? I'm going to go ahead and put this slide up um, for you guys. Uh, this is the project manager, Greg Robbins. Uh, here's his contact information for any questions in case that you couldn't think of right now. Uh, later on, you can feel free to give him a call or email him about any questions that you want answered. <clears throat>
So does anyone else have any any particular questions for this project? So uh, there are two other questions in the chat, uh, Kristen. Okay. One of them is about um, they want the summary of improvement on Buck. Okay, the summary improvements for Buck. Let me put that up here. <clears throat> uh, yeah, so for Buck from Rosedale to Mistletoe, uh, we'll be upgrading the six inch bottle line to a new eight inch bottle line. This will be getting new concrete curbs, uh, new concrete driveways, and uh, new five foot sidewalks on both sides of the street. So that's what the sum of the sum, that's what the summary of the improvements will be for Buck Avenue. <clears throat> And I think there is another question about how well the streets were chosen over other streets. Um, so uh, if it's part of the bond, 2022 bond, so this was a list that the resident voted and agreed on. Uh, this list, we cannot choose it. We, we had all this public meeting uh, and the resident council member, everyone agreed on the list of streets for the bond. So this was uh, voted in May 2022, so we cannot change that. The one with the water department, um, since we are doing like some streets like Buck, so NCAT Aaron, like uh, Tony said, they try to get rid of it and replace it while we are there under the same contract. So water department, if there is a cast iron and it's very close to the project, they chose to uh, replace that water line in the street and so we have to rebate the street after we finish replacing the water line. Does so that make sense? Um, Buck uh, most probably will be asphalt for now because of the trees yes. on the street. We're trying to protect all these trees very close to the curb. So most probably will be uh, asphalt to protect the trees. Yeah, that's that's correct. We're we're trying to minimize the amount of uh, uh, I guess the amount of damage to the or no damage at all to the to the existing trees, um, which and therefore asphalt would be the easiest way to do it to avoid having to uh, damage any of these trees. So that's what Mary was mentioning about Buck most likely being asphalt. <clears throat> So if you want a very good example how most of the streets will look like or buck specifically will look like, it will be very similar to Erwin and uh, Magnolia. The one we just finished as part of 2018 bond. Yes. We just finished Erwin and Magnolia in this uh, area, so it will be very similar to that. <clears throat> Okay, does anybody else have any other questions? Uh, feel free to type it in the chat or unmute yourself. I guess we'll, we'll we'll leave it here for a couple of minutes, and if um, Mary, I guess if any nobody has any other questions, uh, we can go ahead and end this meeting. We'll give it a couple more minutes, though. Uh, leave it up for the floor for any questions, just in case. <clears throat> Like I said, this, these slides, this presentation, along with this recording will be uploaded on the web page for anybody uh, that wants to view it. Uh, feel free to contact Greg Robbins for any questions.
uh, by former email on this slide. 